Hey kids, today I've got another exciting animal story for you. Let's get reading. Well kids, our story for today is called Suro and Babu's Big Pot. Say it with me. Suro and Babu's Big Pot. That's right kids, let's start our story. There is a country called Mozambique. It is found in the continent of Africa. Mozambique. There are many trees and plants in Mozambique, kids, because that country has one of the biggest forests in Africa. There are especially many baobab trees that are huge and beautiful. They even make tasty fruit, which is good. Mmm, yum! Despite these forests being big and beautiful, many are being destroyed by humans when they light fires in the forests. Many of the trees burn kids and never grow again. However, it is not just the trees that get hurt. The animals get hurt too when fire destroys forests. One dry season, our little friend Suro, the naughty little rabbit, was in the Mozambican jungle. Even the silly baboon, Babu, was there. The sun was not very hot and most afternoons were cold. Every animal was trying to keep warm. <laughs> it was cold, kids. It was especially too much for Babu. He was still a young baboon. He could feel the cold everywhere, kids, and even his teeth were chattering. He did not understand why winter always came every year, kids. I don't like winter, Babu moaned and complained. It's too dry and it's too cold at the same time. Babu tried to swing in the trees, but he did not get warm. He tried to play, but he did not get warm. He tried to walk, but he could not get warm, kids. He tried to play again, but he still was just cold and felt miserable. Babu was so sad that he decided to go and find his little friend Suro, the little rabbit. Maybe Suro could tell him how to be warm. Babu found Suro hopping around the front of his barrel. Suro looked very, very frustrated, kids. Oh! Hello, Suro. Babu greeted. How are you? Why do you look so irritated? Hello, Babu, Tsuro replied grumpily. It's all this cold which is making me unhappy. I'm finding it very difficult to walk, jump, play, or do anything fun. Tsuro complained, kids. Me too, Babu complained as well. I don't know why winter has to come every year. I know, right? Suro agreed. I wish that it could be summer the whole year, Suro continued. Then we could stay warm and toasty all the time. Just imagine if there was something as hot as the sun that we could get and use to get warm, Suro said sadly. Oh, 
Babu suddenly got excited. I think I can get us something like that. Suro looked at Babu with bright eyes. Really, Babu? He asked. You can really get something like that? Yes, Babu said proudly, beating his chest. As you know, I always spy with my little eyes many things that other animals don't see when I am swinging in the trees. There is something I saw with my own two eyes which can make everything and anything hot. It can even make water hot. Tsuro's eyes went wide with disbelief, kids. Are you sure, Babu? he asked. Yes, Tsuro, Babu said confidently. But Babu, Tsuro asked again, how can there be something as powerful and strong as the sun in our forest? And we all have never seen it, except you. Babu laughed. Ha 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 ha. Oh, Tsuro, this is where you will see that I am cleverer than you, Babu bragged. If you want to find out how I know and see it, follow me. Babu started walking off. Sura did not want to miss the opportunity to see something as exciting as this and get warm. So he hopped after Babu. They walked and hopped and walked and hopped and walked and hopped. Until Tsuro finally asked, Babu, is this place even real? That was when Babu stopped kids and smiled at Tsuro. We are here, he said happily. It is right here behind this bush. Tsuro was very pleased to hear this kids. He was very tired. He quickly hopped to peek behind the bush to see what was there. When he saw it, his eyes went very wide. He was looking at something very bright and shiny, kids, which was dancing on some dry twigs in a very strange place. Babu, Zuru asked, what is this place? And what is that dancing at the center? This is a place where humans come from time to time, Babu replied. That bright dancing thing is called a fire. That is what we have come to get, Babu replied. Tsuru leapt with fright, kids, when he heard what Babu had said. You, you, humans? Babu, did you just say humans? My parents said that those are the most dangerous creatures on earth, Tsuru whispered. We are not supposed to be here, Babu. Tsuru was shaking, kids. He was so afraid. Babu was not even scared at all. Relax, Turo. Okay, I will tell you a secret. I have been coming here for many seasons now, and nothing has happened to me. If it was as dangerous as they say, would I have still been here? Turo thought about this for a moment, kids. Hmm. I guess you are right, Tsuro finally said to Babu. He knew that he was supposed to listen to his parents all the time, but maybe this time they were wrong. Babu had not been hurt by humans. And so, Tsuro watched as Babu tiptoed into the human's place. Babu quickly grabbed a piece of wood with the bright thing, kids. Babu then ran out of the camp to where Tsuro was. This is the fire, he said to Tsuro. It will keep us warm. Huh, 
now, Zuru asked. Follow me, Babu said. The two little friends ran to Babu's secret play place. It was a place their parents did not know. To saw a very big thing he had never seen anywhere else in the forest. He had only seen it at the human's place. Babu, what is that? he asked. That is a pot. It is how we will get warm. Just wait and see. Sura was confused, kids. But he just decided to watch and follow Babu's instructions. Babu said he learned everything by watching humans do it. So first, Babu took some pieces of dry sticks and wood and put them together. Then he took three stones and put them around the wood. Suro was just watching. Babu then asked Suro to help him carry his big pot. It was very heavy. The two little friends finally put the big pot onto the stones above the wood. Babu then took a bit of dry grass and put it on the wood. Then he put the piece of wood with the fire and put it on the firewood, kids. Babu then started to blow onto the fire. <sighs> when he did that, something started coming from the fire, stinging to your eyes and making him cough. <coughs> Stay away from that, Babu said. That is smoke and it is very unpleasant. It will stop soon when the fire starts burning well. Babu blew and blew until the fire grew under the pot, kids. Just like what Babu had said, the smoke lessened. Quick, let's fill this pot with water. Babu told Sura. The two friends filled the pot with lots of water, kids. It was nice near the fire. Why can't we just sit around the fire? Sura asked Babu. Because we are going to do what those humans were doing, said Babu. We are going to use the water to make us warm. But the humans poured the water out of the pot. We will be cleverer. We will just go into the pot, Babu said. Yippee! Tsuro cheered. He really wanted to get into the big pot, kids, and feel warm. Because I am the oldest, said Babu, I will go first. Then you go and we will take turns. Suro agreed. The two friends brought two big logs and stood on them. Babu started counting. One, two, three, in I go. And he jumped into the big pot. Suro was excited to see Babu go in. Babu even started to swim in the big pot. He swam around and around, then he started making a funny joke. Suro, Suro, I'm drowning. Suro laughed and replied, Ha ha, drown away, naughty Babu. Babu did it again. Suro, Suro, I'm scared. Suro laughed and replied, Ha ha ha, ha stay away, silly Babu. Babu then stood up in the pot and did a fake fall. Suro, Suro, I'm falling. It was so funny that Suro laughed in a, even harder. Fall away, naughty Babu, he replied. Babu then did a few more tricks in the pot, then jumped out to his log. Suro was excited that it was now his turn. The water was just starting to get warm. Because it was cold outside, it felt very nice for Tsuro when he jumped from his log into the pot. 
You could not imagine how the two of them had not done it before or why his parents would not let him do it as well. This is so fun, he said to Babu. We should do this all the time. However, Turo started to feel the water getting a bit too warm, but he did not want to look scared. So, he decided to do the tricks Babu had been doing too, in order for him to move around and try not to feel too hot. Babu, Babu, I'm drowning! Babu laughed and replied, Drown away, naughty Turo! Ha ha ha! Turo felt the water getting warmer, kids. Babu, Babu, I'm falling! He said, while hopping about in the water. Babu laughed, Ho ho ho! And replied, Fall away, naughty Turo! Then, Turo felt the water starting to feel hot. He could not stand it anymore, kids. He cried out, Babu! Babu! I'm burning! But Babu still thought they were playing their game. He laughed and replied, Burn away, naughty Turo! Ha 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 ha! Turo started jumping up and down very fast in the pot, kids. Babu thought that Turo was having so much fun when he saw him do that. He cheered Turo on. Yes, Turo, that's the way to have fun. Babu, Babu, I'm coming out, Turo yelled as he leapt out of the pot. When he leapt out, he touched the side of the pot and his poor little hands got burnt by the pot. Turo screamed, he did not have time to tell Babu that the water was now actually hot. And so, kids, Babu just jumped into the pot with excitement. Kaplank! Babu leapt in and howled immediately with pain. Oh! The water was very, very hot by now, kids. Babu started jumping up and down as he tried to grab the pot, kids. Oh! Babu cried, Zuro, Zuro, I am burning, I am really burning, <laughs> this is not a game anymore, help me. Zuro tried to, but started to panic, he did not know what to do. He tried to stretch his hands to touch the pot, but his poor little hands were burnt, kids. He was in pain. Babu, I don't know what to do, Zuro cried. Call someone, call someone, Babu cried. The water got hotter and Babu could not stand in it any longer, kids. He kicked up out in the pot and pushed it off the stones it was sitting on. The pot fell over and the hot water, together with Babu, spilled on the ground. Whoosh! However, the pot flicked off a piece of burning wood from the fire onto the nearby dry grass, kids. The fire started growing, and Suro got such a fright when he saw this, because he started seeing little insects trying to run away from the fire, kids. He was very scared. Babu was howling in pain. Oh, oh. It was all too much for little Turo, kids. The little rabbit started crying. Mommy! Daddy! Help! He cried and cried. Suddenly, a jet of water sprayed to the fire from somewhere in the forest. Whoosh! A few seconds later, Turo saw a big trunk coming towards him. Then he saw Uncle Huru, the elephant. Uncle Huru was very big, kids. His trunk was very big as well. So, the water he sprayed from his trunk was enough to put out the fire on the grass and under the pot. To make sure that the fire was really out, he stomped on the ashes very hard. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Then he turned to Tsuro and Babu. Hmm. What were you thinking? He asked Tsuro as he went to Babu, 
who was rolling on the ground with pain. Babu was developing blister skids all over his body and he was so sore everywhere. Suru explained Babu's plan to Uncle Huru in tears. He was crying, kids. Instead of being angry, Uncle Huru stood very still and said to Suru, I need you to listen to me very carefully. Do not ever in your life play with fire or try to do anything that humans do or go near them. That fire could have been burning many of the animals in their homes. Just look at how hurt Babu is. Sura nodded, kids. Uncle Huru then turned and blew his trunk like a trumpet to call for help. Suru realized that Babu and him had been very lucky that Uncle Huru had been nearby. But even after all the scolding and grounding Suru received from the animals and his parents, the burns he got on his hands, the hot water in the pot, Babu's burns all over his body, and the fire that nearly spread to the forest taught him to never ever play with fire again, kids. Moreover, Tsuro vowed never to go anywhere near humans again. It took a very long time for Babu to heal and Tsuro was glad when he finally got better. The end. So remember kids, never play with fire. And remember to ask your parents to subscribe to Jungle Tales to hear another fun animal story. Until next time, bye kids.